All right, this is the electrolyte video, so we're going to go ahead and just jump right in. So welcome back again to another fun-filled video. All right, electrolytes versus non-electrolytes. I want you to write these two definitions down of what electrolyte and a non-electrolyte are. Electrolytes are substances that dissolve in water, producing a solution that conducts electricity. Electrolyte conducts electric electricity. It does contain ions, so what happens is they break a solution uh, like salt will break up into a sodium and a chlorine ion, which have charges. Ions have charges, and so the ions are what conduct, conduct the electricity. Non-electrolytes <clears throat> are substances that dissolve in water, um, that and they do not conduct electricity. So there are no ions in it. So sugar and water will just become a sugar water solution. Okay. So how do they do this? Well, electrolytes disassociate, okay? So ionic compounds separate, and write this word down because that usually shows up. Disassociation is ionic compounds separating into the ions, constituent ions, being dissolved, such as this right here, okay? So we're going to get ions. Now, this is where it kind of is going to get a little tricky. Ionization... <laughs> is not forming ions. It is forming, well, not like disassociation, but it is forming ions by um, molecular compounds when dissolved. So like hydrochloric acid, you're going to disassociate into hydrogen and chlorine, okay? Or like NH3 and H2O are going to go into ammonium and hydroxide and, can, and go into ions that way, okay? But disassociation means that it breaks apart completely Ionization is when something's not normally going to break apart, but it forms ions. Okay. Now, when this happens, we have strong and weak electrolytes. Okay. So a weak electrolyte, um, sorry, I'm trying to take that back. A strong electrolyte has 100% disassociation. So it, com it completely forms ions, um, like in NaCl. So all water-soluble ionic compounds, strong acids, and strong bases ha are strong electrolytes. Okay, so those are examples. Weak electrolytes is everything else pretty that is an electrolyte. It is partially ionized in solution, exists mostly as a molecular form in solution. These are your weak acids and your weak bases. Okay, and we're going to talk about those in just a second. All right, so I want you to make sure that you have the names of these acids right here, because these are the seven strong acids. Let me make sure one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, yeah, I wanna make sure they're all in there. There's only seven strong acids. Memorize those, because any other acid that we have is considered a weak acid, okay? They do not have 100% disassociation. So write those seven acids down, and they have 100% disassociation, okay? So weak at Examples of weak electrolytes would be weak acids and weak bases. Anything that is different than what I have given you as a strong acid. Um, I don't know if I have a thing in here on strong bases, but yeah. Um, but if I don't, I'll give them to you. Okay, we're not going to worry about this one right here. All right, here's our some strong acids. Here's some strong bases. Okay, strong bases. Okay. There's more strong bases than acids, but there's only seven strong acids. Okay, All other acids and bases are weak electrolytes, and we're not going to worry about it, net ionic equations. But write those w strong and weak acids and bases down here. Basically, what you need to know on this video is that electrolytes will conduct electricity and, for and disassociate completely if they're strong, and they will ionize, ionize if it's not. Okay? So I'll see you class with the notes on this video so you can do the lab. Don't have the video, you don't do the lab.